Hello guys! So um, today we're going to proceed with IELTS preparation and uh, I come up with the idea to prepare some vocabulary for you guys and I hope you're going to enjoy this video. So let's start it. So today's topic is IELTS vocabulary and uh, I'm going to talk about the relationships, about adulthood, motherhood, all of these important subjects which could be very helpful. Uh, if you face during your reading task or your writing or in, or even during speaking i guess even especially during your speaking part because you could face with different uh, questions or different topics to discuss and at that time you can use uh, to show off your vocabulary to the examiner so let's start with the main word is adulthood and uh, in case of adulthood i just put here a very nice picture from the being a child, a toddler, a teenager, a student, and uh, I don't know, it's teacher, uh, be, being a mom or, or dad, and further just being a grandma or grandpa. So, um, uh, I just wanted to give you some advices on how to remember new words. If you are facing with a new word and you don't know how to remember it, not to just memorize one word, please memorize it with some phrases not just like a house but like a white house or a dress you just can remember that word by means of putting some kind of adjective like a, a red dress and to put a picture of it so uh, it's going to be easier for you that's why i gave here in this presentation just word adulthood and uh, i've shown um, a picture of a being uh, of becoming an adult person so to which is showing from the beginning till the end of the process whole process is demonstrated here so uh, we we'll go further to the next word which is brotherhood and i found this very nice picture i liked it a lot because it's different nationalities different religion and everyone is standing next to each other and you can just remember about the brotherhood when you see this picture so it's going to be easier for you to memorize something as i told you before this word is going to be very helpful to use even when you are doing your uh, speaking part of the ielts exam so further it's very known word but you can forget or you don't remember or something like that that's why i just put here a very nice picture of a dad with his children a girl and a boy a very nice picture and this word this uh, picture uh, will help you to memorize this word fatherhood which is not a complicated word to remember so first we'll go with motherhood and a quite nice picture of a mom with uh, a child so I don't, I don't want to stay on this picture and um, focus on it because I have plenty of uh, very useful words but this is just easy words for you to remember because sometimes we know these words but we don't use them. During IELTS speaking part it's going to be easier for you to use these words to show uh, to the examiner your wide vocabulary and it's going to be beneficial for you. So let's talk about relationships so when you are starting a new relationship you are building a new relationship with someone how to say it you don't have to uh, repeat one word a couple of times you can use all of these phrases which is shown here in this um, uh, uh, in this um, presentation so let's say when you basically they are they have all of them have the same meaning so build a relationship develop a relationship, establish a relationship, form a relationship, have a relationship, to strike up a relationship, begin a relationship. So, which means that you are uh, going to start a new relationship. So, in case of this kind of um, verb, you can just use this 
build a relationship, start a relationship, or have a relationship, form a relationship when you are planning uh, to have some kind of relationship with your new friend or with your relatives uh, which you didn't see for a long time or uh, you are uh, starting a new romantic, romantic relationship it could be um, very nice to explain to the examiner what is happening in your life right now and just to share small information not a lot just small information if you want to 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 do it of course so go further to the family guy so it's very easy word so you could i, I was thinking just to put here a picture of simpsons you can also to put here there family guy and just to remember okay family guy it's from simpsons or uh, some kind of um some kind of uh, movie or sitcom it's up up to you guys which one is going to be easier for you i just giving you examples you don't have to memorize these words by means of this picture which i gave in this presentation you can use your own pictures because this is your memory this is your brain this is your choice use the, uh, the tactics the uh, so as a approach which is going to be which is going to work on for you you don't have to focus on my pictures on the words which i give i'm giving you to you to you here because it could be quite easier or quite hard for you or you don't want to say in that in that way which i ex explained here so this is just a um, the purpose of this video is just to show you how to memorize new words and how to um, increase your uh, vocabulary for the IELTS. So, air, uh, which is basically, I put here pictures, air as pair with uh, uh, Prince Harry and Prince William, just to show the comparison. How, this is a how I remember this word, because when I started to learn uh, English, it, it was quite hard for me to memorize new words. At that point, I was doing the same. I was even using a word file, put there all pictures and next to that uh, all the words which I have to memorize but I don't know them, but I need them, but I can't memorize them, I can't do anything with myself. I was feeling at that time myself so stupid, I was thinking, okay, why I can't memorize these words, why is it it's quite complicated for me? And then I come up with a solution that I... Um, have photographic memory and for me to remember new things i need to see it if i don't see it i don't remember so at that point i found this picture and uh, i've done this um like a vocabulary for else for myself in a word i took two tables in one i put just uh, uh, new words which i have to remember new phrases and uh, then i put uh, a pictures of that words and or some situation which was describing that or that word or that phrase so it, it was quite easier for me to memorize that words because i've seen it i i basically seen that words uh, by means of pictures so we we'll go further to another phrases which is fall out with so why we're using for always it means have an argument with with someone of course example I had a falling out with my sister of months and we haven't talked to each other since. So, which means basically you are falling out with someone, which is, uh, you can see by, the, by means of this picture. And uh, some small argument between two, uh, two little girls. And uh, you can memorize this word because it just have, just instead of saying, just have an argument uh, with someone uh, on some topic, it could be better just to say, to fall out with someone uh, instead of repeating the same word as having an argument with someone. And it could be quite, um, uh, quite uh, easier for you to explain something and to show examiners that, that you, you know the synonyms of some some phrases or some verbs so we'll go further with this statement fall head over heels in love to start to love someone a lot or usually we say like when we talk to each other we were just saying fall in love with someone but you can just also say that fall head over heels in love to start to love someone a lot so which means um, basically fall in love with someone so you can just to use this word or 
or uh, when you are describing some relationships or you're describing your relationship it's up to you you can use these words not even during IELTS exam you can just uh, use these words when you are talking to someone to impress that person to, sh to show that person that you have very uh, quite decent knowledge of English so uh, get on like a house on fire uh, and here as I told before, it's going to be easier for you to, remem to remember by means of some pictures. This is not that good phrase to use, but it didn't mean burning, uh, burning of the house. But uh, you can just say um, to get on like a house on fire, meaning have a very good and friendly relationship. And here there is an example. Joe and uh, Gemma got on like a house on fire. So just they are getting very well with each other. Instead of saying that, you can just say this word when you are talking about someone, uh, someone's relationship or your relationship with someone if you are getting well with that person. So uh, we go further uh, with uh, another word. So which means keep in touch with, to keep in contact with. So I put here a very uh, nice picture, which is quite decent for uh, for our time, for our days, so uh, to keep in touch with someone because we could have been in different countries, in different towns, or we could be far away from each other for some reasons, and it could be very easy for us to keep, to keep in touch with someone who is very important for us, even if it's your family member, or if it's your friends, or your relatives or anyone else so it could be very or maybe your classmate which uh, who you didn't see for a while it would be very easy to keep in touch with a person by means of the social media and to just put here very important social media nowadays which is twitter facebook skype i didn't put instagram because it's most like show off uh, social media and uh, this kind of social media is quite easier to talk to someone and uh, to keep in touch with uh, with people who are important in your life. So we'll go further uh, with uh, uh, another word with teenager and uh, adolescent. And uh, as you guys know that we usually use word teenager, but if you want to show your wide, wide uh, vocabulary, you can use this word uh, adolescent. So um, here I put a very nice picture of two teenagers getting well with each other and just walking towards to the to the uh, to school. I don't know somewhere, and uh, I found it very quite quite nice picture to demonstrate here in order to remember that word. So um, another word is pop the question. Why I put all these kind of pictures? Because I just was talking about the relationship. The topic was to talking about relationships and uh, to use uh, vocabulary for relationship exactly. That's why I put here this question and uh, pop up the question, which means basically to propose someone. So I'm not gonna focus on this picture a lot. So we we'll go further to tie the knot to get married. Here I found very nice picture because they are literally tying the, the knot because um, this is like a very hilarious approach towards the situation instead of saying just to get married they are basically tying the knot quite nice picture and uh, you can just say the, they are tied to no or they get married when you are uh, describing something during your uh, speaking part of the IELTS and uh, yeah, it could be very, very, very nice from your side if you use this kind of uh, quite unusual words. So we'll go to the last one, to see eye to eye, to agree on a subject. So here we have an item. Uh, my friend and I always see eye to eye. When you uh, see eye to eye with someone, you agree with that person. So. Um, also, there is a question. Do you always see eye to eye with your friends? Which is basically a question. So, um, 
uh, you can ask someone or you can tell that when you are described some relationship with your uh, close friends or with your family members that you see uh, eye to eye with uh, some your family member or with your colleagues or with your relatives or with your schoolmates and in order to show the examiner your good vocabulary which is going to be quite beneficial for you during your uh, speaking part of the, of the IELTS exam so as you guys know speaking part uh, could be in the following day or in a couple days later so usually it's not in the same day so you qu will have quite time to get ready but anyways it's going to be easier for you if you get uh, get ready for the speaking uh, part of the IELTS exam earlier so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i was trying to film this video to help you to improve your vocabulary and to explain you with uh, my approach to remember new words not to memorize one word memorize this word in like with phrases with some description with some adjectives it can, it's going to be quite easier for you and as well as with pictures don't be lazy. If you have not time, you can prepare a single word file, convert it into PDF, uh, and uh, just use that PDF in order to remember that words. And uh, if, if you uh, have some time, you can prepare cards. If you don't remember some words, you can put, you can draw there or just print out some pictures uh, from a printer and just do. Uh, glue to that card from on one side and another side you can just write the word and uh, next to it some very popular phrases at that point it's going to be very easier to memorize new words which is going to be very helpful during your IELTS exam hope you guys enjoyed this video have a good day bye